More than a half a thousand residents of Mariupol were evacuated today from the Azovstal steel plant and surrounding areas. This was reported by the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak. They are planned to be brought to Zaporizhia. The rescue operation is carried out under the auspices of the Red Cross and the United Nations. However, there are still civilians and military personnel in Mariupol. In turn, the occupiers continue storming Azovstal. The day before, the enemy used aviation, artillery and infantry. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the authorities are still searching for a solution to save the military. Heroes who defend Mariupol against the occupiers prevailing in the number of troops. There are different units there. They have many wounded, but they do not give up. They are holding positions. A Crimean Tatar doctor who is providing medical assistance to the wounded at Azovstal recorded a video message about the situation at the plant. He appealed to the Turkish authorities for help to take civilians and military personnel out. Until the war I have never faced death. I used to work as an ambulance medic. I helped people the best way I could. But now, in 2022, it hurts to see how people die in your arms just because there are not enough antibiotics. I beg you to help get people out, including military personnel. Stop this nightmare. Just 260 kilometers away across the sea from you, people are being killed. People whose only aim is to defend their land. And these images are published by the residents of Kramatorsk. According to preliminary information, the enemy launched a missile strike at the Energomash Spetsstal Metallurgic and Machine Building Enterprise during the night. There is no information about casualties so far. 32 high-rise buildings and a total of 810 apartments were damaged as a result of the previous morning's shelling in the city of Kramatorsk. What my house? This is my house. No casualties were reported, however, 25 people were wounded. They were provided with urgent medical care. This was stated by Pavlo Kirilenko, head of the Donetsk Regional Military Administration. He says dozens of lives were saved thanks to the timely evacuation. Some areas were left without gas and electricity supply. Restoration work is underway. One person was killed and 31 more people were wounded in the Donetsk region over the past day. The occupants also shelled a number of settlements in the Krivoy Rih and Sunelnikova districts of the Dnipropetrovsk region. Lozova in the Kharkiv region also came under missile attack. Our territorial community was shelled by missiles. One person was killed. Active offensive operations were conducted by the enemy in Papasna. They also attacked Liman and Siversk. According to the general staff, all attempts were unsuccessful. In turn, it is reported that the Ukrainian defense forces launched a counteroffensive in the Kharkiv and Izum directions. In just one day, Ukrainian servicemen repelled 11 attacks of the occupants and destroyed 24 units of military equipment of the enemy. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Alexander Belov, UATV News.